Hello guys, I'm August. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I feel so glad to be sharing this video with you guys where I'll be guiding you guys on how to on how I built my e-commerce shopping app with Flutter from scratch. Um Flutter, as we all know, Flutter is a Google mobile SDK built for developers to be able to build Android and iOS app in record time with one single code in this with a single code base. You don't need to be you don't need to be you don't need to be an Android developer, you don't need to be you don't need to be a full time Android developer, you don't need to be a full time iOS developer, all you just need to have the knowledge of an object oriented language. This the if you if if you want to know how to install Flutter, you just have to visit this uh, this link to be in the description below flutter.io where you talk about talks about how to install and how to get started and basically just few little understanding on how to how to brush yourself up in flutter the documentations are quite understanding they are okay thank i thank the flutter team for that and also please guys um also check out this youtube channel mtech viral but one is an amazing programmer. He will guide you through. He will guide you through. His videos always guide you through um, your, the steps you need to understand Flutter from scratch. At least the basic steps you need. The basic steps you need. You have that tutorials. You also have the Flutter tutorials. For you to learn that, that and Flutter go hand in hand. So basically, when you're learning Flutter, you also learn that as well because. As you're fluttering, as you're fluttering, you also your that experience keeps on improving and increasing with time. And also, please, guys, um, there is a YouTube, there's a Facebook channel, there's a Facebook group out here. The name of the group is Let's Flutter. Please, guys, this group, this community is growing. This community is really growing very fast. You could join this community where you could ask questions. You could ask questions and someone is always here to help you the community is growing fast here we have flutter a lot of us in this group started not knowing what flutter is but today we have a lot of guys here who could help you out whenever you have a challenge in flutter just you come here you drop your comments you drop your you drop your post and someone will definitely pick it up and help you out and please also always check out this repositories owned by Pawan. Is the group admin for Flutter for Let's Flutter and also he's the owner of this um, MTech Viral channel. He's an amazing programmer, he's an, an amazing Flutter developer. He has so far so good. He has released lots of applications, lots of applications made with Flutter, and each application he has made has a YouTube link attached to it where you could just go and learn from it and learn from it. He's wonderful. He has put to refresh Flutter connectivity signature. WhatsApp clone or Flutter with Firebase, a lot of Flutter applications here. So I advise you could learn from it. It is it's wonderful. <coughs> so let's go back to what we are talking about. Building an e-commerce app from scratch with Flutter. So basically why why trying to build an e-commerce? Why trying to build an e-commerce app? We always have two sections of the application. We have the front end and we have the back end of the application. And the front end of the of the application is the user section of the application, where that's the front end of the application where the programmer presents to the user, the developer presents to the user every item he or she has in stock in the cart or in the store so the user session basically for this app is just where i'll be presenting to my users the front end of my application that has all categories and a list of products list of categories list of products the the user could select from and also add to the cart and order then also the app also has an admin section that has an admin section where the admin where you could the admin the support could handle support issues such as finding an order checking for other requests adding products removing products editing products and we'll talk about that in full so let's just get started to the, the user the user section 
Now, the user section has we, have, we are going to cover all this in the user section. This, this, okay. Now, the user section has the home screen or the, the home screen, the boutique or the store. You could call it, they are just the same thing, you call it any name. And this home screen has list of products, it has list of categories and list of products the user wants to add to the cart. So this list of products, list of products, list of categories, the user could select a category to filter. It has a filter where you could just filter by category, filter by category and select all categories back. So this is what you have in the basic this, this is the boutique section on the home screen and also in the home screen also we also have the user cart in this floating action button here this floating action button if you click on this floating action button to take you to the user cart where you see the items purchased by the user the user could click on the image and there's a hero animation and added, added to it where the image comes out the user could also reduce the quantity of the item the quantity of the item required and the price will also adjust to it also as well as increasing the quantity okay from the cart here the user could also proceed could also proceed to make payment make payment and could also proceed to make payment select a payment mode probably outside outside where i'm staying place an order and you see the delivery location a person will be able to place an order then also we also have the user favorites. This user favorites is where the user likes an item and the item goes to the favorites to stay. Then user could come to, will come to the favorite and shop from the favorite, and also could remove the item from the favorite. Then we we'll have messages. We we'll have messages. This is an in-app. Is an in-app messaging. It just it doesn't have much features. It's just to communicate with the support, the support the administrator, the boutique owner. And lay complaints, lay complaints to and to chat with the, the administrator, probably to make an order or to make an order to cancel an order or to check the order status. Then we also have the user profile. Here, yeah, the user profile is located. You just have it's located at this hamburger icon here, where you just click on the hamburger icon and you see the user profile. Username should come out here, but my network is slow. You see user image, you see the email address, the name should come out here. Then you see other notification, other history, profile settings, delivery address, about us, login, log out. Here you check if it log in, log out. Then this other other notifications just covers um the covers the transaction, the current transaction the user is the current the active transaction of the user then um okay the other history the completed transaction of the user this way we have the other history then the profile settings is where the user sets sets updates updates his name updates the user name the full name uh, or mobile number then delivery address also is where the user updates his or her delivery location these are the things we have in the these are the things we have in the user section. The delivery address about us, login, logout, user profile, other notifications, other history, the home screen, the, the home screen which contains all this stuff, the user cards, the favorites, the messaging. So this is basically what the app has on the user section. It could have many other features, but these are just basic things. You could click on an item here and you see. You see the item name, you see the item category, you see the number, the, the quantity, the size is available, you see the colors available, you, see, you could add, you could increase from here and add to your cart. Here you see the number in stock. Here you could see number, you could see the number of items, in, the number of items in stock. Sorry, you could see the number of items in stock. Um, you could also see, you could also select from a range from different menu, different boutique items, menu items, similar products. You could also select similar products. You could directly navigate to your cart from here. Just made it's just made easy. These are the things you just have in the user section. Then also, let's talk about the admin section. 
the admin section is where the the developer handles everything concerning the app add products to the category add products add categories um, reply support messages delete a product hide a product then also account recovery for users it's located on this gear list on this gear list icon here once you long click on it it takes you to the navigation to the support section now this support section as i said before it has messages support messages it has a support profile it has my boutique store add products everything is located everything in this hamburger icon here sorry so everything is located everything is located in this hamburger icon here where you could find order find user other history, my boutique, ad products, account handlers. So here you in finding order, you just find the order with the user with the phone no, user phone number, other history, transaction of all his all transactions done by the administrator. Then we also have um the boutique the my boutique where the administrator would edit the pro can edit the product. You don't click on it, you see this option, you can delete a product to hide a product. Edit a product, you could copy a product. Now, editing a product just implies just changing the details of the product, changing the details of the product, removing the images, updating the images, changing the category of the product. Then, also, um, you could also in this add product, this is where you add new products to the database, add products for the user for the end user to see. You add images, select a category. Then inside this ad product, you have the category section where you could update the categories available, or remove categories, or edit the categories. So the then in the account handler section, the account handler section is where you could find the user. You, can, you could find a user by phone number, by name, by email by phone by password. This is just for account recovery purpose where the administrator or the programmer could be able to find users in his application, find users in the application and send them their record their login details in case it's forgotten. So this basically is what we have here. Then also lastly we also have the request section which is here that has notification bell. If you click on it you see current order request this is the current order request you see 24 21 hours ago now these are the items the user ordered for you see there's a call button to call the user there's a message section there's a message button to chat the user up and there is an email session to send you an email or there's also there's a there's location icon also to get the location of the user here you could mark order as complete when the order has been completed here this is a pay now option for pay on delivery purpose Okay, uh, for pay on delivery purpose, this is what the pay now option does. So, basically, these are the things we are going to cover in this video. We've covered it step by step, and I'll guide you through how I was able to pull it up. Please remember, I, I, I talked about I talked about the sections of this application. You have two sections. You have the admin section. You have the user section. So we'll talk about each section. One by one, we we'll talk about the boutique, the home screen, the boutique, the cards, the favorites, the messages, the user profile, other notifications, other history, profile settings, delivery address, about us, login, logout. Also, in the admin section, we'll talk about the support messages, the support profile, my boutique, my boutique settings, add products, account handler, other requests, and other handlers. So please, I'm going to add the description. I'm also I'm going to add the full link to this to this code to this application in the description, in the video description below, and also I also add other other links that I mentioned earlier: the Flutter.io, the Facebook link, and also the um, the GitHub repository for Power where you could also go there to check out the repositories. And please, guys, if this video is helpful, if you, if you think this video is going to be helpful to you, please leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe don't forget i'm mogos and my, my channel name is mogos and please um 
I'll be taking you guys, as I said before, I'll be taking you guys on the steps on how to do all this, on all this things. So please, thank you for watching my video. Stay well.